name is Noah Bloom. Um, I'm the chef and owner of our restaurant. We've been making a classic grilled steak with potatoes for us today. So we're going to start with some potatoes. Uh, the way I tend to make my potatoes are a process that uh, takes me a couple days. Basically, we take Yukon Gold potatoes, we uh, fork them, um, and then boil them to about 75%. Uh, once they're boiled about 75%, we take a rough knife and open them up so they have a nice rough color to them. At that point, um, I take Hungarian paprika, salt, pepper, duck fat, and a smoked sea salt, um, and I toss them in the oven and I give them a char, basically cooking them the other 15% of the way. Then, as we serve them, we put a little bit of duck fat over the top of them, help their crispiness and their amazing flavor. A little bit of coarse grain sea salt, just for our seasoning. And we toss them straight into the oven on a cast iron. Right now it's probably running about 1,600 degrees. Typically I run it about 2,000 during the service. Look at the steak. And we're going to add a little bit of kosher uh, salt, a little bit of fresh ground pepper, and a touch of our spice blend, um, which is a little bit of smoked sea salt, uh, burnt coriander, and a little bit of ghost chili. And after that, we're going to drizzle a little bit of garlic butter over the top of it. Is going to help our char by giving it a nice ramped up. In the interim, we're going to make a little herb salad. With it, we're going to use spring garlic, uh, just fresh shredded, the fresh chives, the parsley. Yeah, a nice element of freshness to the dish. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Touch of on sea salt. And mix that with it. Act as a light little garnish. Alright, so after the steak comes out, again, Brush it with a little garlic butter. Help it just season its own fat. Feel good about the world. The most important part is resting the steak now that we're done. Put a garnish spice over the top. Just to again emulate those flavors that we grilled into it. Two varying levels of flavor. The cooked version of the spice and then the fresh version. Alright, now that the potatoes have come out of the oven. After resting our steak. We're going to go ahead and slice. We always want to slice against the grain and against the ribbon. Sour cream here, very important thing. Uh, since I figure sour cream is a lot like cheese, it's a great finisher to dishes. That's a beautiful note, fatness. Great element all around. Finish with a layer of salad, and it just decorates out and adds a good amount of freshness to the dish once it's done. Try it, got it right there. One last time, just to add flavor to the plate. Finish it with a little garlic butter right over the top.